hello in this video tutorial i am going to design this model so first thing is that you must understand the statement of this so part one mm mm meanings the units are given in millimeters so we needed to select the units uh, in fusion 360 as it millimeter so statement is that create the following model you should have all the dimensions you needed to correctly create the model use revolve to make the solid but only use to 70 degrees so we are going to revolve this object this sketch for 270 degree so as in my two last videos i talked about the revolve command revolve command is something which is moving around a circle or something which is moving around on a axis a central axis so this is the this is the sketch of the model we are going to design it a full front view sketch is given for this model but to make it the revolve command we needed to design this sketch a half sketch so basically we are going to design this part of the sketch only this part and as you know we are dividing the sketch from half from here so all dimension which are showing like with the uh, horizontal dimensions like this dimension this 70 dimension 50 95 dimension 30 dimension 40 dimension we are going to divide this dimension to by 2 so we needed to divide this dimension so first thing is that you needed to when you saw a sketch you needed to plan it in your mind like how you are going to do that so first thing is that i am going to start it from origin this is the origin so i am going to start this sketch from here first i am going to draw a reference line like that then i am going to draw this line like that and i will move forward like that i will draw these lines like that and then i will add the dimension and at the end i will add this thing so that's why i am going to do that and when when you have the sketch in front of you just make sure you will understand how the sketch is representing and how the constraint are added with that because this sketch it's showing the constraint like this symbol is a constraint this is vertical constraint this is horizontal constraint this is midpoint constraint this is also a midpoint constraint and so on and this is perpendicular this is collinear this is also collinear this is perpendicular and here there is a perpendicular and there is also a midpoint constraint so make sure you understand these constraints if you want to fully define this sketch so i am going to design this sketch in fusion 360 so i hope so you will understand this sketch first you must uh, have a good look on on this sketch so you have like a good understanding of uh, this sketch like how this sketch is representing the drawing so let's start it and go to fusion select units millimeter if the units are in millimeter we are okay just go to create sketch and i am going to start this sketch on my front plane on this plane and then draw a line just draw a line like that and then go to select no i needed to make this line a construction line just select this line and click on construction now this line is converted to a construction line which is just a reference line second thing is that i am going to draw a line like here and again go to select and again i am making this line a construction line so i just added two construction line now again select the line everything is uh, everything we are doing for this sketch is just about the line so select first point here on that and second point here then again start your sketch the end point of this line 
and draw a horizontal line then again start your sketch with the end point of this line and draw a line like that now I am going to add the dimensions sketch dimension so dimension from from this point to this is 30 but we are dividing this dimension to by 2 so from here to here this dimension is 50 and second is from from here to here we needed to see it's from here to here it's 130 so I'm going to select this point and this line 130 divided by 2 and now I am going to add a line like that and like that and like that again go to sketch dimension this dimension is given as 20 from here to here it's 20 and from here to this point it's 20 and from this point to here it's 15 and then again 15 for this one so from this point to this point we have 20 and from this point to this point we have 15 and then there is a one dimension from this point to this point its total dimension is 95 but for the half sketch we are going to divide it by 95 so from here to here it's 95 divided by 2 okay <coughs> Now I am going to select sketch dimension and this dimension from here to here is also 15 this one from here to here it's 15 and then line draw a line like that line like that okay now again go to sketch dimension so this one is also 15 and dimension from here to here total is 40 40 divided by 2 2 ok and now we needed to see some constraint so for this line this line this line is facing this line so we needed to add a collinear relation for this line and this line so go to collinear relation we want this line and this line facing each other like they have on the same line and then as you see the dimension from this point to this point its total is 70 so we needed to divide it by 2 so from here sorry sketch dimension from this line to this reference line is 70 divided by 2 so that's uh, and then again we needed to add a collinear relation for this line and this line they they both have have on the same line facing each other this point and this point are facing each other so we can do that by adding collinear for this line and this line so as you see every the whole sketch is turned into whole sketch is turned into black again I am going to add the sketch dimension so for the sketch dimension sorry about sketch dimension we needed to draw a line a line from here to here here and here and as you see we draw just these Three lines because we are making a half sketch so 20 for its height and its width is 50 but we are making a half sketch so it's 25 50 divided by 2 and as you see this line is collinear with this line these two lines are facing each other this line and this line they are having on a same line so I am going to sketch dimension so this dimension is 20 this dimension is 50 divided by 2 and add a collinear relation for this line and this line it will make them facing each other then the, there is a last step to make this uh, sketch a close sketch so I am going to select this line this point and this point to make it a close sketch so it will 
show you that the inner area is filled with the color so that means the sketch is closed so we are done with the half sketch just click on finish go to home view revolve sketch for the profile i am going to select this profile and for the axis on which axis you want to make it a revolve so that way it's done so as you know for the full and as the definition of a revolve is revolve is there something moving on a circle or with a central axis so for the type full meaning that uh, this whole sketch is uh, ex uh, revolved around a 360 angle a uh, circle has a total 360 angle so this whole sketch is uh, revolved around 360 angle so but in the requirement it asked use the revolve to make a solid but only use 270 degree so under the type instead of full select angle so it asks on which angle you want to add the so for 270 it will be like that now 270 angle is added we are good so let me just show you how this is uh, working how the revolve so as you see now this sketch is revolving around a circle i hold that handle i am i am just moving my mouse so that way the solid body is added the sketch is revolving around the axis the axis which we selected so requirement is 270 we are good click okay and you can like rotate the model from here and see it there then just save it and upload it so thank you so much hope so you will understand